This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, January 26th. Starting out with the stock index futures, we did see a new round of historical highs in the overnight trade for the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ futures. However, it looks like a little profit taking coming in now to take futures just uh, mixed to a little bit better on the day. Longer term, we continue to feel that interest rates as low as they are will continue to support stock index futures, not just here, but uh, elsewhere in the world. So even with one or two rate increases from the Fed later this year, rates, I believe, are just simply low enough or too low to actually reverse this bull market in stock index futures. Any breaks should be used as buying opportunities in all of the major stock index futures. Now, moving over to the currencies, after being bullish to dollar index for uh, most of last year, we are now just neutral on the greenback. There basically are two reasons. One is that the Trump administration appears to be abandoning what was, for the most part, a 20-year policy of uh, the Treasury talking up the U.S. dollar. So it looks like the strong dollar policy may be in jeopardy to some degree. Secondly, it looks like interest rate differentials may be not quite so ad uh, advantageous to the dollar now as other central banks tend to move away from accommodation more toward a neutral policy. At least that is our prediction for later in the year. We are seeing some gains in the pound with the UK GDP coming in better than expected, surprising many who had thought that with the June 23rd Brexit vote that the UK economy would fall off the edge of the earth, which was simply not the case. So the UK economy doing very well. Interest rate markets uh, under some pressure again today, to marginally lower, but we are continuing to see bearish indications, bearish signals there with futures from time to time ignoring bullish news. So nothing changing in our long-term view in the interest rate markets. Look for lower across the board. Most of the pressure likely to be centered at the long end of the curve, which is most susceptible to the inflation influence. So to summarize, continue to buy stock index futures on weakness, avoid the dollar, and continue to sell treasury bonds on rallies. So. Good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.